hi family and welcome into this video and as you can see i am so excited guess what i have young missionaries here with us and i have some questions that i'm going to ask them so that you get to know them better you get to know us better and uh, before we get into the video i would like us to do some introduction and then we get to know them better so stay back <laughs> relax my name is elder standage i'm from the u.s hi i'm elder benson and i'm from the united states so my name is elder lot i'm as well from the u.s I'm Sister Mube, I'm from South Africa. I'm Sister Mflara and I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm Sister Ndache, I'm from Zambia. I'm Sister Ntumba from Kongo. I'm Elder Taros, I'm from Kenya. I'm Elder Shimbi from DRC. I'm Elder Mpoi from DRC. I'm Elder Kraus from Colorado. I'm Elder Ngandu from Congo. I'm Elder Maiza from Arari, Zimbabwe. Yes, here we are again and I'm with Elder Maitza and I have one of the very interesting questions that I really want him to answer it for us so that we can really get to understand better what normally pushes these missionaries to come on mission because you normally see them all over. So he's going to answer us why and what inspired him to become a missionary. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's an interesting question. Um, I believe it wasn't just one factor, it was due to, to like a, a lot of factors but one of the main reasons why I came on mission was my parents confession story because my parents also were, they were not members of the church, they, they, were, they were converted later after that marriage and stuff and um, like one of the stories my mom shared with me was how they ended up coming to church and um, how they met those wonderful missionaries. Mm -hmm. Even up to this day, she does not forget the name of the missionaries who baptized her, the missionaries who taught her. Mm -hmm. So it was that story and of how the gospel has brought joy in her life. Mm -hmm. And it was through those two young men who had the courage to go up to her and talk to her and invite her to church. And um, reflecting on that and seeing the, the joy that the gospel brings to our family, I, I had an urge to go spread that joy with someone else. I also wanted to, 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 to go give that gift that someone um, gave to my family to also have the knowledge of the church. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the reasons that pushed me to, to come on mission. Wow. Yeah. That is so inspiring. And thank you so much for volunteering it's your time pleasure. to come here. And we are enjoying your time here in Kenya. Thank you so much. I hope many of us can be able to learn from you and just come out here and spread the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ. And as you always say, it is the gospel is very free yes. for everyone. The gospel Whoever is for willing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> yes, Elder Standage, welcome. Thank you. So now I have one question for you. What's the most difficult thing about being a missionary? Well, I think what, the most difficult thing is being away from home for two years. As missionaries, we're called to serve in some place that we're not used to mm -hmm. and so we have to leave our homes and go to an entirely new place and learn how to adapt and live there um, and also as missionaries we we face a lot of rejection sometimes people don't don't want to hear what we have to say and um, that's just part of our lives as we go out and work every single day perfect thank you yes elder benson what do you wish people knew about the church of jesus christ um I wish that people knew that we really do believe in Jesus Christ. Um, I've had multiple people ask me whether we actually believe that Jesus Christ came to earth, or I've even had people ask me whether we believe in devils, which uh, we don't. We believe that Jesus Christ is our Savior, and that He came and sacrificed for our sins. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. What do you believe about Jesus Christ? Yeah, so we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He came to this earth um, for, to, to perform on what we call the atonement so that we can repent and become clean again so we can one day return to live with our Heavenly Father. Perfect, thank you. Thank you for answering that. Now, this is one of my favorite questions and I am so happy that Sister Ngube is here and she's going to help us understand this. So, Sister Ngube, 
what is the difference between the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and other Christian denominations? Um, all right. Um, well, uh, the, one of the differences between the, um, our church and other churches is that uh, we believe that um, when Jesus Christ came to earth, he established his church. Um, and we believe that we still um, carry out that same organization um, that existed when he uh, came and he lived here um, on earth. Um, and this is through uh, revelation, uh, both personal and revelation from a living prophet, um, who currently is uh, President Russell M. Nelson. Well, thank you. Now, I hope you get to understand that and be sure to come and she will be able to elaborate more on that. Sister Ndashi, why do we believe that families can be together forever? Well, we, we, we believe that families are ordained of God and uh, it is um, central to our Heavenly Father's plan that families can be together even after this life, that her next life to come. Yes. Even after this life, families can be together forever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that and answering that. Sister Ntumba, mm -hmm. what's the purpose of the temples for our church? Okay. Merci pour la question, Jeremy. Importance des temples. Tout d'abord, les temples, c'est la maison du Seigneur. Chaque fois, quand nous avons des problèmes ou des difficultés, on part au temple pour aller prier. Et le temple, c'est la place où les gens peuvent partir pour aller prier et faire aussi les ordonnances. Merci. Et mm -hmm. Merci. Elder Tarus, what are some of the common misconceptions that you've encountered about yeah. the church? Mm -hmm. So, some of the things that I usually get from people outside is that we give people money and we also uh, make people rich, which is, which is not correct. We believe in hard work and self reliance. Thank you. Elder Shimbi, yep. how has your experience as a missionary changed your perspective on life? Yeah, so uh, experience as a missionary so changed a lot in my life. So if I can see the way that I was just able to behave time I was home, mm -hmm. so it was different in time that I came on a mission. So on mission we came to be humble and to be patient to the people that we live with mm -hmm. and to love one another as, as the Savior invited us to love one another. Mm -hmm. So that's a big experience that I just faced in all my life and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So I was able to apply it in all my life then when I will be back home they were just able to help me in all my life. That wow. is a big experience that I found in my own my mission. Wow. Just trying to love one another. Yes. Yeah, sure as Jesus love. Christ did. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Poi, what yes. would you say is the most rewarding part of missionary work? Uh, what I can say is that uh, since I've been on mission, I've uh, seen a lot of miracles, especially my my uh, spiritual health, I have grown spiritually and having knowledge of uh, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ by knowing them better and uh, helping others to uh, come close to Him. That's the most thing that I came to understand deeply more than being home. Mm -hmm. so, so you mean leaving your home and coming to Kenya and just teaching people about the gospel? that has been the most rewarding part of your missionary work? Yeah, it has been a blessing to me, even to people around me, because I've seen even some others changes mm -hmm. uh, by the way of uh, behaving. And I can testify that this uh, uh, knowledge, uh, it will be with us even in eternity. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Asante. Alda Ngandu, yes. how are you? Good. Awesome. Now, what advice would you give to someone who is thinking to become a missionary just like you? Mm, what I would say to that person is just get ready mm -hmm. physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Mm 
okay. by studying scriptures every day and also to trust in God. And missionary work is a blessing. And once um, the person has come, he will uh, be close our Heavenly Father and okay. he will feel his spirit each and every moment and also by being obedient. Oh, thank you so much. So you, you've talked about being physically ready. So how would you tell them to become physically ready? Mm. Or what experience have you gone through that has made you to think that you need to be physically ready? Yeah, one of the things uh, I did to be physically ready, I was uh, going with full-time missionaries in the area mm -hmm. every day. And because even here on mission, we walk the whole day and under the sun but that's made me uh, become uh, able to go everywhere and to do not get tired each and every moment okay yeah. so in short you're saying you walk a lot yes oh i do walk a lot so meaning you're very physically I'm so active good. yes thank you. <laughs> thank you thank you so much you're welcome. okay and the Krauss, yes. welcome to my channel thank you mm -hmm. so now i just have one question mm -hmm. for you what are some of the funny or memorable stories that you have as a missionary? Amazing question. Mm -hmm. There's so there's so so many funny stories, memorable stories. Mm -hmm. And I think one of them was me and my companion. We were in my last area and we started walking. We wanted to talk to some people mm -hmm. and then we completely got lost. We were lost oh. for about 7 hours no. just walking around. <laughs> And so we couldn't find anywhere. And I think it's very memorable. Mm -hmm. We had lots of laughs because every time we took a wrong <laughs> turn, we, had, oh, we found a dead end. Oh, no. And so we ended up finding many people mm -hmm. to talk to and preach the gospel to. Mm -hmm. But I think that's one of my most memorable stories mm -hmm. because it showed me that you can still have fun when you're lost. Yes. And the Lord, he will still guide you wherever you need to go. Until so, you get to where you're supposed to get to. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that of with course. us. Yeah. Thank you. Santi Simon. Karibu. If I have more questions, I will definitely come back to you. Sao, sao. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching. And uh, if you have any further questions, uh, we'd invite you to visit comeuntochrist.org. There will be a link in the description. And uh, there you can reach out to other missionaries in your area, and they'll be able to help you answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do that and we can hook up from there. See you in the next video.